is Agash Vani Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Demi Bandabla. A voter turnout of over 61% was recorded till last, late last night in the sixth phase of the ongoing Lok Sabha elections, for which polling was held yesterday. The polling in all 58 parliamentary constituencies spread over six states and two union territories remained peaceful. Polling was held on 14 seats in Uttar Pradesh, all 10 seats in Haryana, 8 seats each in Bihar and West Bengal, all 7 seats in Delhi, 6 in Orisha, 4 in Jharkhand and 1 parliamentary constituency in Jammu and Kashmir. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sama has said that the state is projected to attract substantial private investment of 8,000 crore rupees that would contribute in realizing the ambitious target of 10 billion US dollar economy. The high investment in Meghalaya is an outcome of the new industrial policy that was created that has created an ecosystem for ease of doing business. He said addressing a workshop on human development leadership program at Tura in the West Garo Hills on Friday. The chief minister informed that close to 4,000 crore rupees investment has come through in the last one year, which includes 2,500 crore thermal power plant to generate 450 megawatt electricity, ethanol plant beverages and five-star hotel chains. On boosting IT connectivity in Meghalaya, Mr. Sama informed that the government is engaging with the Malaysian and Bangladesh telecoms to lay submarine cable lines. The optical fiber connection will further boost the IT-enabled service sector in Meghalaya. BSF troops intercepted a vehicle loaded with huge quantity of sugar meant for smuggling into Bangladesh and also apprehended two Indian nationals near Kuliang bordering area under East Jantihe district of Meghalaya on Saturday. The seized 24,000 kilograms of sugar and both the apprehended persons were handed over to the customs office Budar Badarpur for further legal proceedings, the BSF Meghalaya Frontier informed. The Meghalaya Human Rights Commission, MHRC, has asked the State Chief Secretary to submit a report into the recent eviction drive against settlers at Lom Serve in Shillong. In a statement issued yesterday, MHRC Secretary said the Commission has taken a suo moto cognizance regarding the evicted residents seeking help. The Commission asked the Chief Secretary to submit a detailed report on or before the 30th of May. Police had registered a case on 23rd May against leaders of the Hinyotara Butte Council or HYC hours after they had carried out the eviction drive. A major rhino poaching bit in the Kaziranga area was averted and poachers were apprehended by the Assam Forest Department. Authorities of the Kaziranga National Park conducted a joint operation with Boka Khat, Police Jorhat Forest Division and Jorhat Police and apprehended the poachers in the Golaghat and Jorhat districts of Upper Assam. The significant achievement stemmed from a series of coordinated actions following credible information regarding illicit activities related to the trade of rhino horns within the area surrounding the, the, sorry, the Kaziranga National Park. The northeastern states, including Meghalaya, are expected to face particularly severe weather conditions, with isolated extremely heavy rainfall likely from tonight up to the 28th of May. The heavy downpours could lead to flooding in low-lying areas and disrupt daily activities. India Meteorological Department yesterday said that the deep depression over the east-central Bay of Bengal is likely to intensify into a cyclonic storm. 13-year-old Tomo Moko, a mixed martial arts or MMA fighter from Lower Subansiri district, has secured a gold medal for Arunachal Pradesh at the 4th MMA and Striking MMA Championships 2024. This feat potentially makes him the youngest MMA fighter from Arunachal to achieve this milestone. Competing in the 51kg weight category, Moko displayed exceptional talent at the event held in Calicut. Kerala from the 17th to the 18th of this month. A student of class 8 at Government TPD Middle School in Zero, Moko's victory shines a spotlight on the burgeoning bu talent and determination of young athletes in the northeastern region of the country. With that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from Akash Vanishalong. Have a nice day.